So working from home really brought about this uh, project. I've been, I've had this chair for a couple of years now and it's starting to look off, even though it served me well, um, I it really needed a refresh. So, so the first thing I did was just to disassemble everything, making sure to categorize all the screws as I went along. Um, just, you know, taking it apart. So just to see what I'm actually working with, because it's actually my first time doing an upholstery project. So I need to figure it out. Now, with that being said, I like puzzles and Lego. So the chaos of taking everything apart is just comes a bit naturally to me. And here you see all the pieces laid out. As you can see in some places, the leather, the leather portion of, and here you see, here are all the pieces laid out. And as you can see in places, in some places, the leather portion of this really took a beating and all that. Now, after disassembling everything, I went straight down to the sanding bit. Um, sending this was a bit tricky because it's veneer and not actual hardwood. Uh, this is what that means is that it's actually a, it's a very thin piece of, of uh, wood grain on top of uh, manufactured plywood. So I really needed to be gentle and uh, careful with what I was um, with where I was sanding, so not to sand through the actual uh, wood veneer. All the next steps. So then I did the hand pieces, I did the backrest piece, I did the head piece, and I did the um, the seating portion. And as you can see, there was just dust flying everywhere as I did all of this. And it was quite interesting to see it change from the, what used to be a finished product all the way down to sanded veneer. Once I was done sanding, I then started wiping down all the pieces with water to remove the dust and just see what the that and just see that the veneer is somewhat still nice. Once I was done pretty much wiping everything down and then put on some gloves and prep my finish for the wood pieces I used um, what's this thing called? I use a teak varnish with a gloss finish on it um, with this I followed the same order I did the back pieces I did the armrest pieces the connecting pieces from the arm to the base oh the large pieces were actually nice to do because they're actually easier to work with work on than the smaller pieces and this is largely because of the larger surface area um, and when working on those the finish i was using really really started to show and i could really see the shine in it and i mean look at this look at 
this. You know, at this point, it's all shiny and stuff, and actually looking somewhat of a somewhat professional. Like, yeah, rise and shine, rise and shine. You know, um, and uh, I think I was actually starting to get happy at this point. Um, and I'm looking at it like, okay, I, I, I didn't completely mess it up. I, I, I'm doing something. The pots are potting. So after that, I moved to the actual difficult part, which is the reupholstery of everything. And you know, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, now I must actually do upholstery, you know, the, 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 the thing I said I'm doing. No, um, the one thing I actually did was choose to change the color. Um, was originally with black leather but i went with um, white leather i use the term leather very generously but it's actually as you'll see pleather so it's some manufactured leather feel something something um, but i chose a specific fabric because it's also quite stretchy um, and easy to clean so that's why i chose that um, and i cut the foam i cut the leather and started with the stapling so the one thing I learned that if you're going to do be doing anything, yeah, your way. So the one thing I learned is that if you're going to be doing anything furniture related, you are going to be stapling wire wire, like literally every two minutes. You know, there is no rest for the weekend. It's just stapling wire wire. Once the stapling was done, I got to reassembling everything and putting stuff back together and all. Um, screws here, a little bit of bolts there, you know, all of those things. And, and this was nice to see and was probably the easiest part, you know, because I could see the end of the road and be like, yeah, no, I see where I'm going. My destination is near. You know, in South Africa, we say, without fear of contradiction, I can say I was cruising nicely. <laughs> yeah. And once I got to that point, I took off the old chain mechanism from the gas cylinder and just proceeded to press the new chair in it.
and that's it i now have a brand new office chair that i can be proud of remember reupholstering a chair is relatively easy and an affordable way to give your old furniture or office a fresh new look thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button or bell icon for more DIY tutorials like this.